Welcome back to the channel. Let's go! Hello, welcome to another video on the channel. It's Ghost Revex, aka Ghost. If you haven't hit that subscribe, make sure you subscribe. Also, bell notification so you don't know miss the next video. So let's get right into it. We're gonna break down this pursuer encounter. Now, the pursuer is a dangerous bot. Two reasons. Well, actually, I'll give you three. Of course, the gust is pretty much so right here. The gust, you're basically rolling EC Thunders. That's basically what it is. But they fire faster to me. They tend to do a lot of damage. Now, the other thing is you get a speed burst with the Pursuer, and that's another bonus. But the last thing is the Pursuer is about the height of the Specter and the Stalker, which means the line of sight does not really work for them unless you're maybe, I think I hit one at about 200 meters or something like that with my Tehrans, and it, it was a flat surface, right? But for the most part, you're gonna miss it, okay? So right here, this player, and this is just for you guys who, you know, if you got a Pursuer, you think about getting one. Basically, you want to try and use your stealth last if possible, and, and here's the reason why. Or if you use it too early, you want to start moving for cover. So right now they have stealth. I move behind cover right here. This player should have even moved back to their cover point or... Move by this wall, but I would say it would have been safer to go back behind the cover point here. Okay, because their stealth is going to drop. I think it's like 10 seconds. But I have stealth too, so you're coming in, and you know my stealth's going to kick off, or I'll be able to turn it on when I want. So now they're still running, and I think about here, they've already committed, but now they realize, okay, I need to get back to cover, but it's a little too late. Now their stealth is off, my stealth is on. And I have my speed burst. They don't have their speed burst anymore. So two things they lost with that move. Still doing good damage. You look at my health. They did really good damage, but they lost an encounter. And really it was all because they didn't back off when their stealth was like when they saw me move. It wasn't really when their stealth was down. The fact was if you're going against another bot that has stealth, you really don't want to keep running after until like right now boom you kick your stealth you got your speed burst you see i run behind cover now you gotta figure out what you want to do okay you don't want to keep coming after me because now i'm just waiting on you and as soon as your stealth drops off i'm gonna kick mine on to come after you now i could have kicked it on earlier right let's see now i kicked it on right here right before they got around the corner okay now they know they can't see me and then you see them try and go back and get, you know, some protection. But unfortunately, at this point, I have the speed burst and I have stealth. So now we're going at, you know, I'm getting the getting the best of this one. Now, they do some pretty good damage. Like right here, it, it seemed to take me a little bit longer. But at the end of the day, that's, that's how it goes. But just know, try to use your ability last. Now, we got the bogey, right? Now, the bogey's ready to rock and roll. I can't really take any damage right now. Not for any to run, so we go ahead and rush. Goal is to do as much damage as possible and stay around that shield. Okay, and they're trying to keep their shield up, okay? And like I say, when you do these longer encounters, especially in free for all, you, you kind of could be a sitting duck for other bots coming into the play. I just roll my camera sometimes to get around a bot quick, but it didn't work out. <laughs> so now we get the bogey. Try to give me a quick steal, did not go down. Sometimes that, you know, it works, sometimes it don't. But that's the goal. That's what you do in free for all, man. It's den of thieves, man. You see a low health bot, you try and burn it to the floor. Now, I might be in trouble because this pursuer, man, it, it does damage. Look at that, I'm trying to put my shield up. And it's just kicking, boom, shields off. Then I get hit by whatever, oh, that Spectre, I think. So now the Spectre actually saved me on this one, right? Let's go back. I was, I may have lost this if the Spectre hadn't fired into it with those, uh, I believe they were Talumbas. So right here, I'm, I'm not able to do anything right now, right? My shield is gone, now look at all that. 
all that kicks off and that gives me the opportunity to go ahead and cut loose on this pursuer so in essence that was like an assist they saved the day by trying to get a takedown and that can happen right so thank you specter <laughs> so here we go moving up it's two specters and really the goal for this video i definitely want to talk about some of these encounters right there i think the bot it looked like the specter just turned it looked like they got hit by somebody else watch the smoke trail see how they fired to the right maybe they were you know what maybe they didn't look at me i thought they looked at me because i thought they fired yeah they fired here oh i see what happened so they fired at me real quick but then they tried to turn basically in almost in the same motion and fired the bot to the right of me you see that and unfortunately they were up in, in the open i don't know if that they jumped but obviously they didn't do it so you know hey it is what it is so now i'm just trying to move back why because i don't have a shield i'm pretty much busted up so my goal is to try to get the advantage in my favor which is finding bots that don't know i'm there so that bot there doesn't know i'm actually there but also trying to move up right trying to get away from the one behind me because you forget about a bot a little bit too long, they'll make you pay for it. And the goal of this video is really going to focus on the Bogusari. I mean, not the Bogey, but on the Bulwark. So we get us a sneaky one, ladies and gentlemen. Can we get another one? Oh, too late. Jigs up, man. <laughs> and Spectre's like, I'm coming for you, son. I'm coming for you, son. So what did we jump in? Ah, oh, we got the Lance a lot, baby. Lance Nation, baby. This was something I used to roll all the time. So we go kick off. I really probably should have backed down simply because when you're fighting against a bot, especially in free for all, once, see, I'm just kind of barely firing. I wasn't doing enough damage, okay? So that's the biggest thing about this. When I came around the corner, I probably should just wait it. Sometimes you can try to wait, but what'll happen is the bot that they're fighting against that's facing you and them will start shooting at you almost like, hey, look behind you. So sometimes that happens, right? But really the goal would be is to try to allow the bot that you want to take down to take enough damage that when you fire all your weapons, you're going to take them out and you're going to do more damage than the other bot that might be currently hitting them at the same time. That's really the call. Now, if you got MK2, you know, and the other person doesn't, you're probably going to win that battle 90% of the time because you're putting out more damage. Now, if you're running low like on these Orkins, you see I really don't have anything right here at the bottom left. You don't see any, any lines there. So I'm just like on my last of last. I'm just basically pew, pew, pew. <laughs> and this is just a bad, dangerous bot to fool with, okay? It's a pursuer. Now I'm hitting it currently. I'm hitting it currently, and that's you know that's cool. If these were to runs and they hit that stealth, it'd be a bad situation. You look at my health, man. Look at my health. So actually, Spectre to the rescue again. <laughs> now of course they wasn't really trying to help me, but hey, it is what it is. We got to take down. Now, right here, I was try I think I tried to let one of the cans get some juice, but yeah, that Spectre just ripping me up, man. My and my ants was just taking forever to kick off. And there it is, we're down. So now we're gonna roll to the bull work, people. Now, currently, when you see the bubble, let's go back. When you see the bubble, man, let's go back. When you see that bubble, that means they blocking everything you got weapons your machine guns your laser guns your orkins if you see the bubble that means i'm blocking everything you got everything now you don't see the bubble i'm blocking all energy okay you got energy i'm blocking it now the scourge i believe they tapered it so it would do more damage to the bulwark same way it does to the lance and, I, you know, I kind of wish they wouldn't do it because there's so many Scourge in the game. You need something that's like a true counter. Like, a true counter is I could be on open and fight with you. And this is a counter to what you have. Now, you see I popped mine on when I was fighting with this bot. Why? Because they have projectiles. Okay, guns, bullets. You can call them, well, they bullets, basically. 
and you'll see my health okay so right now my health is dropping because the projectile is kind of like an orkin right it's not it's not energy based so it's going to do damage so i went in and popped mine on because i need the one that blocks everything so my box stay alive okay now i turn it off because it needs to recharge right so we rock it with them okay they get behind cover we look i think i tried to check up top but nobody's to the right thing i checked up top see what that was but i went in and dropped my shield because now i'm gonna recharge the one with the bubble okay but if anything runs up on me to the front of my bot right now currently they hit me i'm not gonna take any damage from anything energy now you got a bogey the bogey kicks off you can look there's like the shield now i realize this energy man let's turn the shield off you shouldn't be hurting me now apparently they got through like right there you see my health as soon as i turn it off here we go let's see so it might be a slight glitch that when you turn your shield off in the midst of being hit it'll do like slight damage but after i take that slight damage i'm not taking anything else here they are hitting me head on now when i start getting hit by that avenger you see i pop my take my basically block all shield on okay and that's how you do it you do. but the problem was i want to make sure you guys see this what happened to the bogus sorry bogus sorry got ripped to shreds it's like look side look i know no nah, you, you know what park that junk <laughs> Yeah, you got to understand, man. You got a bogey. Whatever you got, the only thing that's very potent against this is a Spectre, Avengers, Tempest. If you have like a, uh, and I don't see it much, but if you had like a Punisher build on like a Griff or a Raven or something like that, you probably could rip one to shreds, but it, it just depends. You want to catch him. You want to get past that shield. So right now, I'm just, my shield doesn't matter because it's too low. So we need to let it charge up. So right now we're just trying to get past this shield and back up. And it just happened to work out in my favor, man. It happened to work in my favor. The player might have been able to avoid. I don't know. Let's see. They're on cooldown. I'm on cooldown. We kick off. They're still on cooldown. And now we're moving to cover. All right, now they kick off, but I'm already going. And these don't, they don't need to heat up. That's the thing I like about the Avenger. When they kick, they ready to go. Like, you're going full throttle. I believe they probably still do double damage to any physical shield. So it's just something you have to understand. But, and so the Bulwark does have a physical shield. Right now, I got a physical shield. But I want you to notice what's going on. Somebody, I, I look like the little, the engine that could. Look at the smoke coming off the front of the bot, people. When you see that smoke, you see that black smoke coming off your bot, your shield is toast. <laughs> you have no shield, people. There's no shield. So at this point, once the other one charged up, I would want to kick the block all shield back on. Because now, if you hit me with anything, I'm taking damage. And I only got 2,005 health. That's a year, right? <laughs> So right here, I tried to kick it on. I think I tried to kick it on, but yeah, it just no good, right? But that's the point. So make sure when you're running a bogey, I mean the bulwark, you're riding it the right way. You see energy, you know, take it on. Now, if it's a scourge, you have to kind of watch that because, I, like I say, the scourge is technically is not really based on all damage. It does damage to specific bots based on what they have it set to as well. So that's why it just it's kind of hard to gauge when you're playing with that weapon most weapons you know it puts out this much damage against that type you know if i got a bot and i got this much health this is what it would do it should do to me but that's not the case with the scourge okay the scourge does damage based on the bot on top of you know range and those things like that so we rock and roll with the specter and you know you you'll see this bill like every blue moon so don't think as you're moving up this is gonna be a bill you'll be like okay i can deal nah man you change them puppies the orkins it's a whole it, it just it changes everything because you put four orkins on the specter you wiping pretty much anything off the map you jump at okay the ones i've gotten away from i use them in my hashi 
and they jump or there's a structure and they go to jump over they've lost their stealth at that point and i move just enough to give me that time frame so that their stealth drops off and i have the best position and i rip them up other than that that is a rare situation most of the time they can hit me they can jump they can sit there i mean it's almost like just pouring water they have enough firepower that even if they miss they usually can still take you out <laughs> so here we go we're stuck up on the lance and this is not the position you want to be in people you don't want to be in lance with a little bitty bot that close to you because you really don't have a lot now this player i don't know if they had the rush option if they did that's what they would have wanted to do do the rush try to back up try to circle do something to get me off of them because them thunders you don't want you don't want the gust that close man you do not want the gust that close so right here that's why i tell you I always try to look around check your back look in the corner of the screen now it's, it's on right now see they were fighting now this could have been even worse if they were actually engaged with the other bot because they started to fire but i don't know if the other bot fired back yet right now you think they're firing at him but if they were fight with the other bot and i jumped in that they probably know it was me they would think it's a bot in front of them so that's the thing about that kind of ambushing bots is that if you can let them i don't know what happened right there <laughs> it's like they like do them take you down like okay whatever bro but if you see here we go try to move around all that and that's the thing about it man it, it the stealth is so long when it it does go in stealth and it jumps so high and then the stealth stays on so long after they land that those situations where you do take them out they're very, they're rare okay they're very rare that's why i tell people if you got a specter you should have problems in these modes you know really you should even you playing against another specter you know what you're doing you take them out because your stealth works the same as the other now if they got more health and you get in a situation where it's like toe to toe, okay, that makes sense. But, you know, just, just playing it the right way should be okay. Now this, I don't, oh, this is Spectre, and guess what? They got stuck a little bit. Now I took some major damage from the RDB, from those Talumbas. And then we have another bogey, I'm trying to use my shield. It looks like my shield is just not blocking nothing, even though it's good. Then I lost one of my kickers. And then on top of that, my my control started acting kind of stupid. <laughs> I, got, I don't know, man. It, it's more fun to play a little bit because I don't have to be dragging the mouse trying to click. Now I just basically turn and shoot. But there are times when I turn and shoot and just be like, what? I can't help you, man. I can't help you. <laughs> so the biggest thing from this is this bulwark. We're just gonna jump back real quick, just revisit that, then we'll be done. We'll be out of here, people. You can go, you know, go to, go to, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say something silly. Anyway. Come on. There you go. So just know when you do it now, if you're, if you're running the bulwark, okay? If you're running it, then you know energy, I'm kicking the regular shield without the bubble. So energy, no bubble, okay? Splash, projectiles, I need to bubble, okay? Or I need to find cover. And for some reason, it may be some, I don't know, there's gotta be some glitch because right here we dropped the shield, but I took damage, okay? My other shield was still pretty much still good. Let me go back to it. So my other shield was still pretty good, right? So I'm not really sure why I took damage. You'll see that white part up here. I don't know why I took damage now. It could be just some lag. But even if it's lag, this shield is still good. Still good. All right, now that shield's down. Okay, so now I'm starting taking some damage because that shield, it blocks everything. But here's the thing. When I was playing it before, even when that shield was gone, it was like there was still some kind of physical shield on this. When you have it set to this setting, as well but i don't know maybe it's not that way so that little damage was because my shield was gone like my shield that blocks everything was gone and i hadn't switched it over to with the ball so once you get the ball out the way you block all energy and guess what those tarons are all energy right energy's kicking off they missed a couple of times but you see my health is not changing but here I'm taking damage from the projectiles at this point, okay? Once they get past my shield, even though the ball's up, 
You know, it doesn't matter. So we now we need to get cover. So just remember that. Now, if you're fighting one, if you see that yellow ball, you need to get inside that ball if that's what you're going to do. Now, if you have, like, some like Avengers or Punishers or Orkins or something like that, you need to try and work that shield down. But if you see two of these jokers running together, you better watch yourself, son. You, and you, if you see them in the same clan, you better watch yourself, son. And please, for whatever I can tell you, do not. I, man, I lost the video. If I had it, don't mess. Be careful when you see one of these jokers running around with a Waylon, okay? I mean, a Mender. If you see one of these with a Mender, you need to be careful. You probably want to take the mender bite as soon as you can because the mender paired up with this bulwark, man, that's that's <laughs> that's medical assistance on station, man. And this bot, man, is yeah, when you got the right weapons and you got that medical personnel right there, man, you don't want to do it. I think I had like 10 takedowns. <laughs> Cause I had medical assistance with me. Yeah, man, it was it was gross. It was on test server. I'll just let you know. Be careful fool with that mender in one of these bulwarks. Or even the even the uh, Wayland. But definitely the mender because of the maneuverability and how quickly you can move around and kind of stay out of the way while you're trying to deal with the big boy. Uh not a cool deal, man. Not a cool deal. <laughs> so anyway, man. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, slap that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. Bell notification so you don't miss the next video. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment if you enjoyed this video. And as always, choose like over death.